Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of XAUUSD, which is gold, and what to expect from the market this week. If you're just coming across our videos, you're just coming across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time, and you don't want to miss out on any of sort videos now before we get into the business of this video i want to say congratulations to those who took the trade based on our last analysis of gold when we did the analysis the market was here and we did say that the market will be going bearish which it did but did not achieve our tp when it started um going bullish so if you took the trade and you were able to um leave the market before or when you notice that it has start going bullish, I'm going to say big congratulations to you. Now let's get straight into the business of this video. Let's start analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, we can see that the market had been selling consistently for a pretty long time. I think for is it six weeks or seven weeks, we could say it started selling from here and it has been selling down to this region. So um, like we did say in our previous videos, I think last last week and last two weeks, we said that gold broke this strong support region. This region had served as a support for it for the past two years. Each time the market sells and gets to this region, it starts buying again. And um, two weeks ago, it was able, but two weeks and three weeks ago, it broke that region and we saw the market make a new low. Let's also consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we can see that gold has been selling. Let me take off this horizontal line because we don't need it here. So on the weekly time frame, we've seen that the market has been selling. Of course, looking at it from here, we could we've seen that the market has been on a downtrend, it has been making series of lower lows and lower highs. Then last week, our TP was about this region, and we could see the market sold and got closed before it started buying, and the market ended on the weekly time frame as a pin bar. Then let's consider the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, you can see the market sold, the market has been selling consistently till this region. And last week, we had the market make a morning start here, which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern. Then on Friday, the market ended as a doji. Okay, Thursday and Friday, we saw the market ending as a doji. Then let's consider the four hours time frame. On the 4 hours time frame, you can see after the market sold this much, it got here and started buying. And on Thursday, I think this was Thursday, it sold a bit, then bought again on Friday, sold again. So that's what happened in the market last week. So what do we expect from the market this week? Um, let's see. The daily time frame shows that the market is going bullish. So we have a morning star here. That's number one. Number two, the 10 day simple moving average, 10 day simple moving average has crossed over the candlestick, which is a bullish entry trigger. Then the weekly time frame has also shown a weekly time frame ended as a pin bar, which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern. And remember, this is happening after it has broken this um, strong support region. Then the weekly time frame has also, the RSI has also gotten pretty close to the oversold region. And we've talked about the market getting to the oversold region several times. We say when the market gets to the oversold region, you should start looking out for buying opportunities. Then on the monthly time frame, we can also see that the market has been selling consistently for several months, now think six or seven months. And at the end of the month of September, which just ended, we can see that the market, uh, there has been bullish rejection here. So the market has been sold consistently for a long time. Then this candle 
is showing bullish rejection should bring to mind that buyers are beginning to come into the market and weekly time frame has gotten to the oversold region daily time frame has shown a morning stop of course daily time frame has also gotten to the oversold region so we are expecting or we could safely say that the markets will be going bullish this week but the four hours time frame is showing a bearish move yeah, we can't deny that. The four hours time frame is showing a bearish move. So what I think will happen in the market is that there's possibility that when the market opens, it's going to sell a bit before it starts buying. There's also a possibility that the market will start buying immediately. But this is what I'll advise, that you don't, you don't take the trade immediately the market opens. You should wait until you see a clear bullish reversal candlestick pattern on the four hours time frame. Some people who are extra careful may want to see a bullish candle close on the daily time frame you see after the 10 the simple moving average crossover the candlestick here um the other two candles closed as a dodgy which shows that there's still the selling pressure around this region and of course you can see this a resistance region so some people may want to wait to see a bullish candle close above the 10 simple moving average around here before they go bullish and by then of course the four hours time frame will also show a bullish move and some people may want may just want to see a bullish candle a bullish reversal candlestick pattern on the four hours time frame so either one or either of these that suits your trading style perfectly you should trade with it so uh, but we're expecting the markets to go bullish this week and we expect the bullish move to get to this region let me mark how far we expect this bullish move to go let's see let's see the weekly time frame okay perhaps uh, when it comes in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame around this region okay there about so we're expecting the bullish move to get to about this region and of course we can see that this region is a resistance region which was previously a support so we expect the markets to get to this region and when it gets there there's possibility that it's going to pull back a bit because by then by then the one the daily time frame should get close to if not in the overbought region so when that occurs we're still going to observe the market to see if there's going to be strong buying pressure to go above that region but if it pulls back it will pull back a bit and buys a, and buy again because of course we've been selling the market has been selling consistently for a long time so a quite significant bullish move is expected perhaps for two to three months well, that's what I'm expecting, but we'll have to see clear signs of that happening before we take such trade. So that's how far we're expecting the market to go this week. It should get to that resistance region, then we'll see what next will happen. So that's what we're expecting from the market this week. If you have a different opinion, you can use the comment section. If you have any question, you can also use the comment section, and we'll be glad to have a conversation with you. Like we always say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge. If you don't have proper knowledge, you don't want to take this trade, you can watch this video for educational purpose and that will serve you better than risking your hard-earned money on something you don't fully understand. If you want to subscribe for a signal service where we will give proper entry, stop loss and take profit, you can also check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for our signal service. And if you want to get a copy of my book, Trading Without Tears, Check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy if you want the hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles tell us your location we'll tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video i hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now